Hello, this is John Kuhn with Southern Exposure Technical Services in association with Baird in America. I want to thank you for joining me today as we're going to be discussing how to set your pressure foot heights on the X-Series and the K-Series Baird in embroidery machines. Before I go into showing you how to do that though, I wanted to discuss two key points on why you need to know how to do this and when you should do it. So the first one is whenever you do get your machine it's not going to come with an attachment on it on the needle plate for your, your caps. The needle plate cap attachments are going to be in the toolbox when your machine arrives and the technician that comes to install your machine should be putting these on there if you're going to be running caps. If you're only going to run flats then this doesn't really pertain to you but there will still be the cap attachments in there for you to use in case you ever choose to run caps on your machine. The purpose of the needle plate cap attachment that goes onto the needle plate itself is to help when sewing on a cap to deflect the needle as it goes through the structure it wants to bend and, and go in a different direction due to the curved nature and the hard structure of today's caps and it wants to bend and deflect and it could cause a lot of needle breaks and so we have the needle plate cap attachment that can screw down onto the throat plate needle plate however you wish to call it and it helps deflect it back straight to go through the sewing hole so that you can continue to make your product look in good quality and, and, and things of that nature. So that's the needle plate cap attachment that goes on there and whenever this gets put on the factory has the machine already adjusted uh, with your pressure foot heights but when you put the, the needle plate cap attachment on it raises the surface level of the needle plate higher now so we have to readjust the pressure foot second thing that you're going to want to know how to do this for is if you choose to you know, run thicker garments or if you're going to do puff foam things of that nature on, on caps and, and stuff you're going to need to raise up the presser foot so you're not smashing down on your garments or on the puff and causing damage both to the garment the puff or even more so the machine itself so these are the two biggest reasons you're going to want to know how to do this and so without further ado on that, let's go ahead and pull that video up and we'll just get discussing right into how you do it. So the first thing you'll want to do is rotate the machine to zero degrees and bring the needle all the way down. You can be off the zero degree mark by one or one degree so it's not beeping at you the entire time and that's perfectly okay. But the only tool, tools you're going to need are going to be a flathead screwdriver see that head and a three millimeter Allen wrench or a T handle doesn't matter which one you want to use a 90 degree Allen wrench or a T handle is going to be just fine no, but again make sure that you have the machine down at zero degrees and that your needle is all the way down and as you can see my presser foot is all the way down as well so you're going to insert the T handle into the two black screws on the left side of the sewing head and just loosen those up then you're going to insert the flat headed portion of the screwdriver into the square hole and you're going to be able to lift up by pressing down and you'll be able to adjust the press foot heights as you see here. Once you've got your press foot height set use the screwdriver to help maintain it Go ahead and again go back to these two top screws and give them a nice little cinch down. The distance of the presser foot that you're going to be looking to do is about a business card's width. So you're looking at about a millimeter. You know, you can go up a little higher if you need to, depending upon the puff foam material, stuff like that. But go ahead and tighten down that top one, just cinch it down, so that when you remove your screwdriver, the the adjustments not going to be changed and then go ahead and cinch down on the bottom one and and again you don't have to go crazy tight and as you saw right there my tool flew out of my hand because it slippery little suckers uh, go ahead and adjust it as as need be and then make sure you just snug up the top one because you didn't have that one cranked down all the way and this is the height that I recommend that you go at 
If you'll notice, it's just barely clear the top lip of the needle plate cap attachment. And here's a front view of it for you right there. So this is the normal standard way I set up machines and my, and my team at Southern Exposure sets up the machines. And so feel free to, to mimic and copy that, but you can bring it down a little lower. That's not a problem. Um, and you can take it up a little higher as well. That's not a problem. So that's the steps, the steps on how you actually do that. Now, there's no real rocket science to it. Uh, that's one of the great things about the S head embroidery machine for Baradin that, that they made. It's called the S head. And it's made it to where it's very easy to adjust certain things, you know, like your press foot cams or your tensions and, and things like that. And then, and then again, with the Mark 8 trimmer system, the new ones, you know, they made it very easy to adjust those as well. So, but if you have any questions about any of this content or any questions at all about your embroidery machine, or if you have issues you need help with, feel free to contact Baird and America's tech support line at 440-498-4660. Uh, they, they're on the, on the lines waiting for you there at um, 9 to 5 Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Or if you need to, you can give me a call at 770-917-8825 is my office line. And again, I'm, I'm basically the same way, you know, Monday through Friday. Um, but myself and my team, we can help out where we need to as well. But anything that's warranty, definitely got to give Baird America a call and they'll be able to take care of you there. Again, their number is 440-498-3660. So I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch this video. If you have any likes, comments, and subscribes or things, go for it and hit all them buttons right there. They're going to pop up somewhere all over this thing. I don't know. They, I'm still learning how to do all this. Um, so definitely, thank you for taking the time today. And if you have any future questions or comments, feel free to leave it down below. Until then, happy embroidery. Hello and welcome to another tutorial with Southern Exposure Technical Services and Baird in America. I am John Kuhn, your wonderful host, and I thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to be talking about presser foot heights and how you make the adjustments on them. And this is something I get asked a lot about, and so I took the time and made a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it. So before we get into that, let's talk about why you should do it. Um, most machines, when you get them from the factory, the, the press foot heights are already going to be set. Okay, But what you're not going to have is the, the, the little disc that sits on top of it, the needle plate cap attachment. And that's for when you're sewing on hats. Um, a lot of machines in the past didn't have them, but now they do. And, oh, I just had a lighting effect that went nuts. What was that? That was a weird power surge. Oh, oh there it goes again. Whoa. Ah, stop it.